Base Guy broadcasting to you live from Montreal, Canada, to the comfort of your own home. How's it going? Uh, today I'm relaxing. I am enjoying myself because uh, tomorrow I have vacations, so a vacation, so I can watch the whole show without any interruptions. Oh, that's good. And uh, today, right now, you're you've done your work already today, and you're you're at home. Is that right? Yes, this is my house behind me, my flat. Oh, cool. Do you want to see? Do you want to see it? Yeah, give us a little tour, ladies and gentlemen. We're little, gonna... little, t- a little but tour. Only my only my only my living room, okay, and kitchen. Okay. All right. I hope. I don't know if I can make it because everything is connected. But I will just. This will be upside down, okay? Just a second. Can you see anything? Yeah, we can. We can see. I can see a wall, ladies and gentlemen. We we're looking at a wall live in Slovakia. This is breaking this news. Is, this is my living room. Wow. Can you? You, see? you, you live on the other side of the world, eh? Is that why everything's upside yes. down? Yes. <laughs> no, I, I don't live in Australia, but. But everything is connected in my computer and uh, it's very hard to turn it around in the right direction. Okay. So maybe maybe just something like that. Maybe next time I will buy a web camera and uh, I will show you. No, that's the right... good. We have we have a good clear image of you over there in Slovakia. So yes. uh, Stefan, would you like to uh, jam a song with us? Yes, I can, and I will sit so that you can see me playing. <laughs> I hope everything is all right. I will try my best. Cool. Yes. So this is uh, Bass Guy and uh, Stefan jamming live in Slovakia. Let me put on a... Uh, why don't we put on a split screen so we can both jam together? Uh, that doesn't yes, work. Here right. we go. Okay, so I've, I'm on the base webcam. We'll put you a little bit larger. Oh, that's okay like that. Okay, so what are we going to play? This is going to be called Angel. Okay. Uh, by Kare- An- Angel by Karel Krio. And uh, I like this... Uh... This person, Karel Krill, but he's he's not uh, with us already. But I like his songs and I like to play them. Okay. I don't know for what reason, but I love them. Cool. So we and it's we good to go. see you, Stefan. I think this is the first time I've ever seen you on uh, the camera. So it's nice to see you yes, in, in may- person. Yes, you you saw maybe my photos on Facebook, but that's it. Tak, know? to jest prawda. To jest dobrze bardzo. Fajnie, moje fajnie kolega Stefan do uh, do Slovakia live uh, uh, concert window. Tak? Ano, tak, tak. Tak. Okay, so let's go for it. Yes.
Ladies and gentlemen, live in Slovakia on concert window, Stefan. That's awesome, Stefan. It's going to be great. I enjoyed that. The audience is going wild. We love when you call into the show into Bass Guy. Tune into Bass Guy Monday to Friday, 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you can check out our friend Stefan. We've got disco balls, we have transitions, and uh, a crazy host, and uh, a fake audience. And a real audience, My pleasure. too. My Thank, pleasure. Thanks, really, Stefan. Some, some, are, some are just uh, maybe artists who are cool, and some are real, 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 uh, real, how should I say? People with real names. <laughs> yeah, we have real people on this show, and we have fake people, and we have people in between. Oh, yeah, we have old, like old in-betweeners. <laughs> something like that. So what are you going to do with the rest of your day today, Stefan, in, in Slovakia? Uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, watch this concert, and then I'm going to uh, well, maybe watch the rest of the uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, because I, I, I have watched just half of the film, and I would like to see the rest, maybe. You like Lord and of then, the Rings, uh, yeah? Yes, the 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 first one, uh, companionship or what it is, I don't know. Okay, well, you know that we have Gollum that calls into the show sometimes. I mean, uh, Smeagol. Yes, Smeagol, Smeagol, sorry. Smeagol, I know, I know. Who, who who's your favorite character on the base guy show so far? I like Gandalf and of course uh, Frodo. No, I'm uh, Stefan. Sorry, I, I meant on the base guy show. Who's your favorite uh, character? character yeah you know like our fo people that phone in like velcro and velcro is all right and then uh the, maybe steph from calgary who sometimes calls oh, he, and, he doesn't uh, call in he just he just writes on the wall he's not phoning uh, oh, no, right. no, I, no 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 because the people who call in are actually like real characters they're real real yes. life characters you know this don't you so I know they are real people, but uh, they change their names. Something like that. It's magic. Yes, I know. <laughs> I think my I like uh, a lot of people seem to like Club Guy for some reason. He parties hard. Well, I liked uh, maybe <laughs> Bass Guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the... Oh, thank yes. you. I appreciate. Ladies and gentlemen, Stefan live in Slovakia on concert window. Thank you. Thanks for calling into the show, Stefan. We love you. No fear. Bye. No fear. Bye. Take care. I love you too. Bye. See you later. I'm an ostrich. Hey, Sky. You're live on the air. Hello, Jack. Hello. It's Dr. Bear. It's Dr. Bear Mumstead calling. It's who? It's Dr. Nair Mumstead. Dr. Nair Mumstead, man, what's wrong? You, you don't. You usually sound cheery. You don't seem so cheery today. I can't take it anymore, Jack. All the seminars, all the traveling, all the meditation. It's and trying to be enlightened for everybody. It's just too much weight on my shoulders, Jack. But what about your amazing uh, shaka? techniques and everything you've helped us so much what, what's wrong doctor you're you're telling me that you you've had it with spirituality and, and you can't take it anymore it's just that enlightenment industries where we're in a financial crisis and, okay uh, okay maybe you're right maybe I will use the shaka there you go. Oh. How does that feel, Doctor? I'm starting to feel better, Jack. Wow, what's wrong? Jack. You, you, you sound like you're in trouble over there. Where, where are you? It's just that, it's just that, Jack, when you, when you try to promote peace, you always run up towards resistance and the forces of darkness. Shaka! Oh, I feel it bubbling over. I feel it bubbling over. I feel it bubbling over. Oh, yeah, I feel it bubbling over. I feel it bubbling over. I feel it bubbling over. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, feeling it, I'm feeling it in my loins. I'm feeling it in my loins. I'm getting deep now. Oh, Whoa, oh, doctor. what a relief. I feel better. 
You know, Jack, this is a perfect example of how these meditation techniques work. You saw what despair I was in, and after just a few short meditations, I feel great. I'm levitating. That's great. Uh, see, I guess that proves how well your techniques work. You you called in, you had enough of, of your, your life, and then you just do the, uh, the, the shaka and other techniques, and you feel better. Yeah, so I feel back on track. Sorry about that. I had a weak moment. Did you, you you fell off? Yeah. What what went wrong exactly? Well, you know, I don't even remember. That's how good these techniques work. Well, Doctor Numstead, it's always a pleasure to have you on the uh, the Base Guy Show live. We're broadcasting to the world right here. We have Stefan in Slovakia and Stefan in Calgary. We have uh, Spiff in Wisconsin. Uh, Wheelie Bin in Scotland. We have uh, lots of people watching. Hello, Kyle Morgan, uh, and whoever you are, wherever you are. This is Dr. Nair Mumstead live on the phone. Can you explain to first-time listeners uh, exactly who you are and what you do, Dr. Nair Mumstead? Well, I'm basically a meditation coach, and uh, we travel the world at Enlightenment Industries teaching uh, these meditation techniques allow you to free yourselves from the 11 shundais, which are the enemies of the soul, pride, greed, lust, hate, anger, violence, and so on. And what we seek to do is reignite the, because everyone in the, in the world has bubble zoids in their brain. Mm -hmm. And these are tiny receptors that have lined dormant for centuries because the art of meditation has, be, has basically been forsaken by by our society. And uh, when we practice these meditation techniques, we ignite the bubble zoids and we unite with the Rafa and we reach a transcended state known as the Gnome. And it's a constant battle, but through hard work and discipline, you can achieve an enlightened state and be free from the worry and the anxiety and the, and all the the things that weigh us down and keep us from enjoying life. And you uh, you offer retreats and seminars, don't you, Doctor Nair Mumstead? Yes, we were just in the Ukraine, and we met with uh, a very strict religious sect. Uh, and they taught us some uh, meditation techniques that I'll be sharing with you tomorrow. Oh, great. So tomorrow you're going to call in, and we're not going to do the techniques today. I guess you're, you've been throwing off track a little bit with your uh, your recent uh, meltdown. Yeah, but uh, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good, you know, what better example could I give when I, when I, from one moment I'm in despair, I'm using the shaka, I, uh, I managed to uh, pull myself out of the mire and the depths of my gloomy, pathetic existence. And you springboard back into uh, life. The springboard. You blast effect. back. A blast you blast back. back and you can get the loins going. And what about the snot rocket technique? I've been. Well, the snot rocket technique is basically used by a lot of young people. Because there was a young uh, Buddhist monk. And he would sit for hours for me with, meditating without being able to blow his nose. Right. So he developed the snot rocket technique where you just plug one side of your nose and let it fly. Wow. Release the filth. Release the filth, yeah. Cleanse, cleanse the, 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 the pollutants, the, all the, the sickness and the rotting stench of our ugly souls wow well doctor i hope you i hope you feel better you know after you've you use the emergency uh shaka technique to release the filth uh maybe you should go try a few snot rockets yourself take the day off and and just uh, don't be so hard on yourself you know like don't I, we, we all have days where, where we think what we're what we're doing with our lives is pointless and mundane meaningless existence but you, you gotta you gotta remember that you you know you're a great guy, Doctor Nairam Mumstead. We really appreciate you calling in. 
We love your techniques. We love what you do. And uh, please call into the show more often. We, we could use Well, your thank help. you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. I'm honored to be a part of Base Guy, and uh, I will continue to call in and share these techniques. That's great, Doctor. Anything you'd like to say before you go? Yeah, I'd just like to say, Okay, thanks for calling in, Doctor. Okay, thank you, Jack. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. Well, that was uh, the doctor on the phone, uh, Dr. Nair Mumstad. He seemed to have a little bit of a problem there, but uh, he seems to have recovered quickly. This is an amazing example of the, uh, the, the shaka. Yes. Hello, uh, bass guy. You're, you're live on the air. Hey, bass guy. Hey, who, who's this? Don't play dumb with me. You know who this is. Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's Satan, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Satan, I, I, I'm glad you called back. Uh, I, I really wanted to speak to you. Did you get my, uh, my message through Skype? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's something about, like, you're gonna, like, burn me and uh, my soul is damned eternally or something like that. That message? No. The one I sent today. Um, no, I, I, I didn't, no. Well, I think you should look at it and, uh, read it out loud. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, you, you actually sent me a message on my phone. Okay, it's on, yeah. it's on the, uh, the Skype, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, just give me a second here. I'm trying to... Uh... Tick-tock, tick-tock, time's ticking, let's go. Okay, sorry, give me a second here. Let me like, check out my phone and You're see... You're getting the devil wait to tell you. I know, eh? It's, it's pretty lame, so... Um... Okay. Okay, so I have to go... Where did you send it to me? On my Hotmail, did you say? Skype. On your, on your Skype. Okay, I know, I'm just fooling with you. Look, Satan... Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell... Okay, I'm trying to tell you, like... What's going on here? Okay, one, one second. So you're still there on the phone, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. From Satan. Hey, bass guy, kick me off the team, will you? Okay, I'm, I'm reading the message now, ladies and gentlemen. I got it here on my uh, Skype, and we have Satan on the phone. Uh, okay, here's the message. From Satan. Hey, BG. Hey, bass guy, kick me off the team, will you? Question mark. Well, just so you know, I'm making roast beef dinner, chocolate pecan cheesecake, gonna have like four bottles of wine, and then some vodka and tits. You're not invited. Dude, I might... Okay, whoa, that's not... Hello? Yeah, so, uh, hey, you like apples, eh, bass guy? Uh, yeah, I love apples. I just had apples. Yeah, how you like them apples? Wow, you're you're really pissed off about uh, me kicking you off the uh, the team, eh? Off off the uh, bullet you, you have team. no idea. This is just the beginning. I told you. Watch out. Well, I was trying to explain to you, but you you cut you kept cutting me off, and you kept saying you're gonna come over and watch movies with us and everything. And I just said I needed some time apart, and uh, I was really upset about it. And I had all these people calling me Satan, telling me that not to trust you, and that you're a bad apple. Uh, no pun intended, and and the, you know, and so th I have these people telling me one thing. I have I have you telling me another thing. You come, my girlfriend's like, oh, I don't want Satan over tonight. I need some alone time. And I'm like, okay, I'm trying to please everybody here, Satan. And so I thought I would do the right thing and say like, I can't do Tuesday nights anymore. And you you flipped, and now you send me this message saying that you're having a great time partying with tits and vodka and and wine and food and everything, and I'm not invited. Like you're trying to make me jealous or something, Satan. I just want you to know what you're missing. Okay. Like I said, I did everything for you, everything I could, and it was never enough. You've done me a huge favor, this guy. You've really opened my eyes. I know what's going on here, and like I said, uh, all I wanted in return was your soul. You just wanted my soul, yeah, that's all, eh? A small price to pay, alright? Yep. So, see, see, there was always strings attached. You came over every night, we watched movies, we went bowling, we played pool, and then I tried to, like, subtly give you hints, and then when you didn't understand, when I finally just communicate to you in plain English that I need some space and time alone, you flip, and then you uh, unleash internal impending doom on my soul. That's not fair. That's not being a bud. Oh, yeah? Well, you just watch out then, mister. I got your number. Okay, well, oh, he hung up. I didn't even get a chance to 
make up with him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Satan on the phone. He's been calling in every day for like two weeks, and uh, he, he was hanging out with me and having fun and everything. There's a lot of peace in the world at the same time. What a coincidence, eh? Here uh, every day. Thank you, Wheelie Bin and Kyle, for checking out the show and talking to uh, Bass Guy's friends here and for listening to his silly stuff. And uh, Oh, we have a, a caller coming in. Hello, Bass Guy. You're live on the air. Na 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 boo boo, you're a piece of poo poo. Oh wow, <laughs> looks like Satan is really pissed. guy a guy that plays bass